Legal documents are giving us new details about what led to the arrests in the killing of rapper PNB Rock. Gigi here with the latest. Now, both Freddie Lee Trone, who had been on the run but was arrested in Las Vegas yesterday, and his 17-year-old son have been charged with murder in the death of rapper PNB Rock, although prosecutors say it was the teenager who actually shot and killed him. And today we're learning more about what happened that fateful day. Now, the timeline in the felony complaint says that Freddie Lee Trone met with someone outside Roscoe's just moments after PNB Rock and his girlfriend arrived. Trone is then seen leaving, but he returns shortly. This time, he's with his 17-year-old son, who was reportedly armed with a gun. Trone drops him off a short distance away from Roscoe's. The teen then walks into the restaurant and goes straight to the table where the rapper and his girlfriend were eating, pointing a gun at them, prosecutors allege, and saying, quote, give me all of your jewelry now. The timeline then has the teen shooting PNB in the chest just like that and after he fell to the ground prosecutors say the teen shot him two more times in the back the felony complaint goes on to say the teenager then pointed that gun at pnb's girlfriend steph saying quote show me your hands give me that blank right now i swear to god i shoot you in the head the teen then took her jewelry but it didn't end there the complaint went on to say that as the rapper lay dying on the floor the teenager robbed him too, taking his chains and watch and even pulling his rings off of his fingers. The timeline ends with the father and son driving home, but prosecutors say they parked blocks away and walked home with the teen disposing of his shoes and shirt along the way. The felony complaint makes no mention of that now infamous social media post from PNB's girlfriend that tagged them eating at Roscoe's, although police say the investigation is not over yet. No. I want to talk to my gangbanger family. You make it very difficult for me. Go ahead, say that. In the 60s, we knew who the enemy was. But in 2007, you the enemy. It's black people killing black people. Black people robbing black people. Black people raping black people. I'm talking to you, and I cannot call for retaliation in matters of the slain when you have become the number one slayers of yourself and your own people. But this murder that is going on in our own community makes it difficult for me to make the right and necessary call for your justice. On any given Saturday night in cities across this nation, it's we killing each other. You make it easy for racist police to kill you because you are busy killing yourself. But if you stopped and became a community that respects the life of each other and will protect the life of each other and will protect your women and your girls and if an enemy of that peace comes in among us how can I do what is right by you while I watch what you are doing wrong by one another half of all murder victims in America are black men and nine out of ten of those that are murdered are murdered by their own brother or sister. Welcome to Broadcast Houston. We are the premier festival, concert, and live event YouTube channel. If you are a lover of music, sports, or the arts, we would love to have you as a subscriber. Drop us a line and let us know which artist or event you would love to see next.